There's a potential $16 trillion resource sitting on the ocean floor, and one tiny company is trying to be the first in line to vacuum it up. The metals company, ticker TMC, is up several hundred percent this year as investors that can unlock polymetallic nodules in the Clarion and Clipperton zone, which is a stretch of the Pacific between Hawaii and Mexico, and it's loaded with rocks in nickel, cobalt, copper, and other stuff. So this is what's crazy. Estimates put the metal value in the zone alone in the $8 to $16 trillion range. And TMC's own technical studies paid the net present value of its initial projects at above $23.6 billion, versus a current market cap around $2 billion. The pitch is simple. Instead of blasting mountains on land, TMC wants to send robots four kilometers down, vacuum up nodules like seafloor Roombas, and ship the ore to shore for EV batteries, data centers, defense alloys, and grid storage. If it works, a single permit covering a slice of that zone could support tens of millions of EVs worth of nickel and cobalt. But before you get all excited, there's a catch and it's a big one. No one has an approved commercial deep sea mining license in international waters yet. The UN International Seabed Authority has only granted exploration contracts so far. TMC is trying a two-track approach, pushing the ISA to finalize its mining code while also applying under a new US law to mine a 25,000 square kilometer block in the CCZ with a US subsidiary. A legal gray area critics say tries to root around the usual process. So this is what it looks to us. That $16 trillion on the sea level headline is real at the resource level. And TMC has meaningful claims on part of it. But the entire equity story still is on one thing. Actual getting a commercial permit and proving that environmental and technical side works at scale. If they pull this off, this year's stock move could be just a prelude. If regular slam the brake, it's the definition of a crowded speculative trade.